Hey, hi. Hey, Mona. And if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. It's time for another reading. I have the uh, everyday tarot to start out here. <clears throat> it's like the evening time, so I thought I'd do one today here. Uh, you know what, though? I have the Kipper deck. That's right. Let's start out with the Kipper deck, okay? I just want to get three cards. These are all pre-shuffled. just want to grab three cards from this deck just to see what's going on here real quick, okay? Okay, that's three. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Sudden Wealth. Pathway. And child. Okay, you know what this makes me think about? This kind of makes me feel think about somebody like uh, getting some kind of sudden wealth and de deciding to take a new path in life. Seeing it through the eyes of a child, like a new adventure, right? That's what this is kind of reminding me about. Now, somebody could receive some sudden wealth and follow some pathway that they've been wanting to go on. And maybe they're going to bring a child with them. But I kind of actually feel like this is somebody that is going on a new adventure and experiencing something as if it was like so brand new, like they're seeing it for the first time, like through the eyes of a child, their own child, their child within. You know, I'm kind of feeling like that's what's going on here. It's like someone is able to to do whatever they're going to do because finally some dough came in for them and they're deciding, I'm going to go and do this. I'm going to do this for a change. You know what I mean? Doing something totally different from what they normally do. This is kind of what I'm seeing here. Now we have the 11, number 11 there, which could uh, indicate about some sort of enlightenment. Somebody realized something, realizing that they want to do a whole bunch of stuff because, you know, they got this sudden wealth and now they want to go out on an adventure or do something brand new or something like that. You know what I mean? Taking a new pathway in their life, deciding to take a different path, something like that. A new path. Because, you know, you see butterflies right there. And that's like new beginnings, right? 35 reduces down to the number 8. Somebody could do it in the 8th month, which is August. This is August. Somebody might, this might happen to somebody in August, right? This also could be somebody's life path number. Something could happen in 8 weeks, 8 days, 8 months, 18 reduces down to the number nine. It's almost the end of ending of cycles, right? So this could also be that somebody is um, going on this new pathway because maybe their child has turned 18 and they've decided, I want to go out and I want to do this now. You know, you stay home, you can take care of yourself and <laughs> I'm going to go this way. Something like that, right? Uh, it also could indicate ending of cycles, which like I said, a child might have turned 18 and then the parent wants to go and do whatever, right? But it, it also could be that somebody's letting go of their old ways and that's why they're starting something new, like as if they were a child experiencing something brand new again, you know, having that feeling of like, of awe because... You know, when you're a child and you see something exciting for the first time, you're like, oh, ah, you know, like somebody feels like they want to do something. OK, so we're going to grab the everyday tarot. You know, this this may or may not resonate this reading, but, you know, a lot of this is something that a lot of people go through in their life. Maybe they're having a, you know, change of life circumstances and they're deciding to just run off and do something. You know what I mean? Uh, but let's go ahead and um, get a general energy card here. I mean, that sounds kind of cool to me, you know. A lot of older people or, you know, finally kids are moving out and they want to go on in some adventures here. You know, maybe somebody was able to gain enough money or got lucky with a sudden wealth and is deciding to go on a, an adventure, you know. It's not impossible. King of Swords right? This is somebody who's put a lot of thought into this, 
how they're going to do it, what they're going to do. They're planning it out. The King of Swords is a pretty smart guy. Sometimes tends to overthink, but, you know, they're doing so because they want to plan this out properly, right? They want to make a, make the right choices, right? Now, in the reverse, this is about somebody who hasn't made very good choices in their life, you know? Maybe somebody has had sudden wealth before and they blew it, tried to go on a path and ended up with a child somewhere in some other state or country. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why that came to mind, but hey, that's also a possibility in life. You know what I'm saying? That could have happened to someone out there. But we're going to put the King of Swords in the upright. Uh, we're going to think that, you know, think about the idea of this guy planning something out because they received the sudden wealth, planning a new path in their life and able to do things brand new again. Okay. So let's just go ahead and start here with um, five cards. Okay. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. I'm happy you're here. I'm glad you like the videos. I'm glad you like the readings. Uh, I'm glad you don't find me too boring. You know, uh, if you're new and you enjoyed the reading and you like my concepts of the tarot and how I try to explain the cards to you so you can learn yourself, I believe everybody should learn the tarot. So you know what you're watching, you know what you're listening to, you've got an idea what's going on yourself, you know? Just to be on the safe side, because you don't want to be misled out here, okay? I try to do my best to explain all the cards to you, so, you know, if you want to look them up yourself, you can, okay? I don't want to deceive anybody, but if you do like the channel and the readings and my concepts, go ahead and subscribe and like or whatever you'd like, you know, we'd like to have you here, okay? I need three more cards, please. Two more cards, please. In case nobody knows, we are in the forest. Okay. I travel and we travel to nature spots. That's how I do. That's what we like. I travel with my two dogs. In case you're new and you kind of don't know about me, that's pretty much all I do. <laughs> all right. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Three of Pentacles. Okay, the Three of Pentacles is about working with others, right? Collaborating with others. Somebody was working with others to do something, maybe to make this plan or... You know, maybe it was this King of Swords that uh, was work with, working with some people or some people are working with this King of Swords, you know, uh, collaborating together. In the reverse, this is somebody doing it by themselves or they don't want to work with others. Maybe they're, they're doing something secretive, you know, not necessarily bad or anything, but like they're trying to plan out some sort of maybe adventure and they're not telling anybody about it. It could be something like that. It could be one or the other, okay? When the card is not pulled, it's a 50-50 card. It can go either way. Now we have the Hierophant card, okay? The first card that flew out, right? This is in the reverse. This is about not going on a higher level of commitment for themselves, right? Now, <clears throat> what I'm getting here and what we have so far already, I'm thinking that somebody is maybe getting out of a higher level of commitment, something that didn't serve them, right? Didn't make them happy, Um they were just not, they were not with it. And this is possibly why somebody may not be telling someone what they're doing, right? Because they just want to get up and get the heck out of here. You know, they just want to go on a new adventure, right? And, and whoever they're separating from, you know, could be sad over the loss of this relationship. Five of Cups is being sad over the loss of a relationship. So somebody could be sad that somebody's leaving, you know? Uh, if they are trying to make plans to leave in secret, they don't know yet, but eventually they will, and they will be sad when this person leaves for some reason or another, right? Now, if somebody wasn't happy where they were, you know, something was wrong there. Something was wrong there. And the other person, you know, is going to be sad over, you know, what? You know, what was going on? We don't know what's going on yet, right? The moon card in the reverse. Somebody found out about somebody lying. 
The moon card in the upright is about secrets and illusions. Now, when it's in the reverse, it's about people finding out or realizing the truth, right? Somebody here found out something about someone. And it could be this five of cups person may feel sad over the loss of the relationship because they got caught doing something. Yeah, somebody might have gotten caught. They're sad that they lost the relationship. And now this person doesn't want to be in a higher level of commitment with them anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And of course, this is why they are probably wanting to go on a new path, you know, trying something brand new. This could have been a long standing relationship or marriage or something like that. We have the Knight of Pentacles in the obstacle and advice position. Now, the obstacle here could be that it's taken some time for somebody to build up their finances uh, to be able to do that, to do this, right? This was their worry or if they're going to have enough because maybe they do receive some sudden wealth and maybe it might just not be enough or somebody's worried that it's not, not going to be enough, you know? So somebody here is, is uh, you know, worried whether or not they're going to have enough for the future it could even be this five of cups person that somebody wants to let go because uh maybe uh, somebody was supporting them found out they cheated or did something underhanded or wrong and now this person's worried like where am i going to get my money now you know what i'm saying it's kind of selfish but people think that way they stay in relationships because somebody else is supporting them yet they're very mean and nasty to the partner i mean that's something that's very realistic, you know what I'm saying? And with this Knight of Pentacles right here, you know, um, if this was advice, the advice here is, you know, work slowly, right? Gather all the information you need, all the finances you need, all the people you need to work with to have this done, right? So this could also be working with like, you know, lawyers, or people who separate property or something like that, you know, however they do that. Well, like when you get married and then you have to split the assets and all, I, I don't know too much about that stuff, but this could be, uh, the advice that, you know, do whatever you need to, to get your life straight before you go on this, uh, new pathway in your life. Right. In the end, somebody could feel very uh, backstabbed from this situation. This is possibly why this, this relationship or whatever's going on here is ending. Because somebody backstabbed them. They found out. They found out that somebody was doing something underhanded, backstabbing energy. Mm -hmm. And this is why this higher level of commitment is ending. Okay. So let's grab the Flamingo Las Vegas deck by Aristocrat and do a little bit of uh, behind the scenes digging, right? Tell us about this Hierophant in reverse. Is this three cards right away? Sure is. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Ace of Pentacles, starting something brand new, right? Somebody even might be receiving a little bit of something, a little bit of finances, which could be that sudden wealth, a little bit of extra money could come in useful for whatever trip they're planning or whatever their pathway they want to go on. Seven of Cups. This also doubles as the chariot card, right? Somebody has a lot of options and they want to move towards whatever those options are, right? Uh, somebody could be dealing with a queen of pentacles, or this is a queen of pentacles that's taking action. This person is single now. Mm -hmm. Nine of pentacles is a single lady. Or, you know, this could also be the hermit card, wanting to go off on the path on their own, to be alone, to contemplate or think about what has taken place so far in this person's life. Now, the queen of pentacles is about... Um, uh, a divorcee or a widowed uh, woman, right? If we have the queen, a uh, king of pentacles showing up in the upright, because she's in the upright, uh, this is a couple. But since, you know, he hasn't shown up yet, not yet, then we can only assume that this is a divorced woman uh, or widowed woman who is going to receive some sort of sudden wealth. They have a lot of options. They got out of this higher level of commitment and now they are single, right? They receive some sort of gift here, Ace of Pentacles, 
Now, either they received a gift or they didn't receive anything. But because all, all you know, these cards are pointing to like new start, sudden wealth, new path, planning out, you know, and, and leaving a situation that didn't serve. It looks like somebody might have, you know, received a little bit of extra dough, a little extra money or something, some sort of finances uh, in order to take this new journey or pathway that they're going on. Five of Cups. Five of Cups. Okay. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Eight of Pentacles. Now, the Eight of Pentacles is working on your craft. Somebody is working on their craft, and they're doing it alone, right? This is a card that, you know, of self-improvement. You do it on your own, right? Working on their craft alone, right? Somebody may have a skill, and they're trying to uh, improve that skill. They're doing it alone. They're studying. They're doing, you know what I'm saying? That's what the Eight of Pentacles is. Now, either somebody is trying to do something alone and perfect their skill alone, or they're working with others, right? But they might be working with others who have the same skill. It could be a possibility, but, you know, it may not be. But it's about working with others when it's in the reverse, okay? We already see here that we have the Three of Pentacles. So somebody here is working or collaborating with others. Now, Nine of Swords in the reverse. This is about... um getting enough sleep i guess because in the upright this is a person that's not getting enough sleep they can't sleep they're all in their head you know things are not going their way but right here it's showing that there is no problem here oh you know why because somebody knows about something already so we could this could be one person if this is one person, because sometimes what it is, is we have somebody here who's dealing with this situation or person, place, or thing, right? Uh, oh, and the Hierophant is the card of Taurus, right? So somebody could have Taurus in their chart. Plus, we see the Queen of Pentacles there, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, right? Somebody may not be losing any, any sleep like they used to be right? Somebody may uh, realize that they have been backstabbed and they're letting those knives fall out of their back, right? They're sad over the loss of this relationship, but possibly they realize that, you know, the relationship might have been toxic or they didn't deserve this treatment or whatever they were going through. They're kind of, I'm, I'm feeling like a sigh of relief, like, whew, like they, they finally got rid of whatever the problem was, right? Somebody might have been in a problematic relationship or something like that. Okay, and it didn't work out in their favor. Now, we also have the Four of Wands here, and this is like the Soulmate Energy card, or it's about celebrating with family and being happy again. So somebody could be happy again. Maybe they were in a relationship that didn't serve them, and they were having nightmares, bad dreams, getting backstabbed, there were secrets and illusions, but somebody might have found out the truth. Yeah, somebody might have found out the truth that this situation didn't serve. You know, and so, and they also figured out, you know what, I got more options than this, right? Somebody might have been in a toxic marriage or relationship and they're like, I, I got more options this, with, than this. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move forward in life without this. So this could be a divorce. Somebody got divorced from a situation. They are now single. All right. Uh, they were sad over the loss of the relationship, but they're not losing any sleep over it anymore because it, there was some backstabbing that did happen there. And this four of wands could indicate that, you know, the family is happy that this person finally came to their senses or something like that. And there could be a child involved here. There could actually be a child in involved in this situation, you know? Yeah, even though we have the Knight of uh, King of Swords right there, you know, this Queen of Pentacles, if she's going through this and trying to get over this, she might be in the energy of the King of Swords. You know, the King of Swords is very smart, plans things out properly and things like that. She could be doing the same stuff, just like the King of Swords would do, right? I could say, you know, you know, we all have male and female energies. Okay, fine. But you know what? I'm reading the energies off the cards and women can do what these, you know, male energies do also. So, I'm, you know, let's take it how you ever, however you want. You know what I'm saying? Queen of Pentacles could be a divorced, uh, 
person or maybe their spouse passed away and this person is very generous and nurturing and giving that a male can be that way too. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. <clears throat> the moon card in reverse. Tell me about this card. The moon card in reverse. This is the outcome from this situation right here. The moon card in reverse. Somebody coming to their senses. I kind of feel like it, you know, somebody is realizing that what they were in or involved in or dealing with was just not really that good for them and they wanted out of it. You know what I'm saying? All right. We have the eight of pentacles again, somebody working on themselves, on their craft, maybe going back to school, going back to study, doing what they were doing before they got involved with this person who possibly held them back. Okay. We have the knight of swords here again. Okay. This is the emperor card in this deck. Okay. The emperor here could have found something out, you know, or she could have been in that energy, uh, emperor energy, being very um, grounded, uh, emotionally stable. Um, what else? Intelligent uh, and passionate. Um, this person, you know, could have found out the secrets and illusions that were going on in this situation. This could also be from a job. Somebody could have been working somewhere and found out some truth about somebody, about toxic ways, or maybe cheating employees or doing things bad with employees or figuring something out. You know what I mean? Basically, uh, Knight of Cups in reverse. This person is not interested in... Um, sharing any kind of emotions with anyone right so somebody could have definitely been um playing off somebody's emotions male or female doesn't matter somebody could have been playing off this person's emotions and they became keen to it and they could tell like you know what you don't really you're not really on my team because you're doing things behind my back i kind of feel that energy right here we have the three of pentacles. Yeah, here, that conf that confirms what I was just saying. Somebody here could have been working with others. Somebody could have been doing stuff at work with another employee, right? Like a workplace romance or something, you know, behind their spouse's back or behind someone's back. I see this. The reason why I'm saying behind their back is because I'm seeing this King of Swords Emperor energy looking forward towards the future and not dealing with this person, whoever this person is, right? Somebody was doing something behind the Emperor's back. Mm -hmm. It could have been the ex spouse now, could be. Somebody may have been acting single while the the king of swords was away or while this emperor was away and they found out somebody could have even gotten pregnant mm. now we're getting a little too deep and crazy with this reading but you know what it's not impossible let's keep going so obstacle or advice knight of pentacles right Somebody's worried about their finances now. Are they going to have enough? Because now this person is gone. Who's going to support me? Who's going to support the child? It could be that too. Right? We have the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody needs to heal, right? This is also the Star card. Then we have the Nine of Cups. Somebody did see somebody as their Nine of Cups, but it could have been Nine of Cups involving, you know, finances. Yeah. Planting seeds or planting planning, you know, to uh, be supported or taken care of. And I don't know. There's a lot of people out there who are just in it to be taken care of for the rest of their life. No equal give and take. No true love there. Just like somebody getting used. <laughs> but I don't mean to laugh. I'm sorry when I laugh. If you guys think that's harsh. I have like a nervous laugh. So when things are going bad and stuff, I tend to laugh too. It's it's not a good trait of mine, and I'm sorry about that. Um, but we do have uh, the Five of Cups here sat over the loss of this relationship. Yeah. There it is again. Right? 
somebody might be sad because and, and you know they may feel like they don't have enough money here this is why they need to heal they need to uh you know follow some path of wish fulfillment like having goals right uh, instead of depending on others for finances, how about depend on yourself, figure out how you can get your own finances like that. Five of, cu uh, five of Cups, sad over the loss of this relationship because somebody could be losing their money bag, losing the person who supported them or whatever. Yeah, somebody doesn't want to do it anymore. Somebody sees that somebody was being deceptive behind their back, possibly lying, cheating, stealing, I don't know, while they were away. They found out the secret, and now this person doesn't want to be with them anymore because they were liar, cheater, stealer, trying to use them only for wish fulfillment, but not actually, you know, putting in any work or effort uh, to this situation. No 50-50, uh, you know, collaboration between a couple, you know, somebody might have been doing most of the work, whatever. Three of Cups kind of looks like there was there was a third party here somebody here interfered into this relationship or this uh union or whatever this was going on here this couple they may have uh, invited somebody in that shouldn't be there you see so tell us about this ten of swords then tell us about this ten of swords then somebody got backstabbed in the end you know Somebody feels backstabbed anyways. Eventually, that Ten of Swords will be coming into the reverse. So this is something that could have just happened or will happen soon or, you know, or somebody has this terrible thing to look forward to. <laughs> it's not funny, but I mean, I'm just saying, you know, this might happen in somebody's future. You know, I mean, I can resonate with this story as something that has happened, uh, you know, a long time ago, but that for me, like, you know, everybody's timeline is different with these stories, you know, something that happened to somebody like 10 years ago could be happening like tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? So all you can do is really, if it, if it happens and something does happen, you know, take a deep breath, you know, something's wrong here, you know, something happened, wasn't right, separate yourself from this uh, situation and try to heal yourself, Seven Pentacles, Star Car, try to heal yourself through this best you can, and try your best to just move forward away from it. Take it as a lesson learned. Don't have any resentment for whoever burned you or hurt you, because that's just going to keep you in a state of depression and sadness. You know, understand that maybe these people, they just don't know any better. They do not know what they do, you know, and all you can do is move forward and try to find joy in your life and just leave the past behind. You know, I know it's easier said than done, but eventually you will come to the conclusion that you're just going to need to let this go and, you know, appreciate these people for teaching you a valuable lesson, you know, even if the lesson hurt. Okay. I need two more cards here. One more card. So basically we have the three of cups. Yeah. So there was a third party situation. There was someone else involved. Somebody interfered into the relationship. Uh, somebody got romantically in involved or lied, cheat and steal with somebody else, you know, nine of wands here. This is the sun card. This is about enlightenment. This is the happiest card of the deck, right? But somebody was enlightened to the situation that there was a third party situation. And with this four of cups right here, somebody's going to be refusing any offers from anybody. You know, if somebody's trying to come in, oh, but please, let's start this over. Let's try this again. Somebody's going to refuse the offer. They're just going to be like, nope. Someone's just going to say no. Somebody might want to come in begging, pleading, you know, let's get back together or let's make this work or something like that. But somebody knows that there was a third party here. Somebody was lying, cheating, stealing. There were secrets and illusions. Somebody was taking advantage of another person. So the offer is just going to be straight out refused. Yeah. And this is why they're going on a new pathway. You know, they finally have the funds to get the heck out of Dodge. And they're just going to hop on the next boat and sail away. You know what I mean? Somebody doesn't want to be involved here anymore because there was some too much, too much backstabbing energy here. Yeah. Somebody's like over it. 
Somebody's over this person, working with others, doing things with others, behind their back with secrets. No, somebody's going to somebody's gonna refuse whatever offer somebody's trying to bring in. That's also what this Knight of Pentacles could be. Somebody here could be trying to bring in an offer some, to somebody, a little token gift of some sort, but someone's going to say no. So somebody must have hurt somebody really bad for them to just be like no and to not give them a chance. Right, because if it wasn't a big deal, it was something you both disagreed on, it just didn't work out, then okay. But somebody must have done the most here for somebody to be like, Nope, I am not getting back with you. I do not. So it could have been that somebody, yeah, had a third party situation lying, cheating, stealing, all that stuff. Somebody may have had to take a long time to heal themselves from this. And so with the past coming back like that, and somebody had already gone through some healing and realized what was really going on here with that moon in reverse, somebody's not going to accept somebody from the past back. They're just not. Mm -hmm. What's at the bottom of the deck? Look at that. Ten of Pentacles. Now, somebody here is going to find their forever or they are going to be set forever. But somebody here is not. Right. And this would be, you know, this is not the Wheel of Fortune card. It doesn't double as that. But this is the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse is, is basically somebody's karma for, you know, stabbing somebody in the back, doing bad things, lying, cheating, stealing. And because the other one healed properly, they've been enlightened to the situation. And, you know, as long as you're kindly telling this person, no, thank you. Like if you're getting out of control and getting crazy and all that, you're just going to bring karma to yourself. You know, the person's going to probably get crazy on you too. But if you're just like, you know what, I'm kind of over this. I don't want to deal with it anymore. You go your way. I will go my way. And I wish you all the best. And most likely that person's going to end up with the Ten of Pentacles, right? There's no need to get out of control or crazy. Somebody realized something was going on. They took action and they just want to leave and they don't want to deal with this. And you know what? I don't blame them. Depending on what happened, if somebody hurt someone real bad, lied, cheated or stole or whatever, you know, if you can separate from this person like an, a mature adult, you know, um, you will be rewarded for those actions somehow or some way or another. You get out of control, you get all crazy or whatever. Now either something could be like maybe there could be mental issue, maybe there was some, some trauma or abuse here. But if there was nothing like that except for lying, cheating, stealing, then it's better off you just speak to this person. You say, look, I'm good with you. I don't, you know, <laughs> I don't want to be with you or around you and I'm going to mosey along in another direction, most likely you're going to have some good luck uh, when you act like that and when you treat other people, uh, you know, oh, excuse me, I just yawned, sorry you guys, um, but yeah, if you just treat people with respect, you realize what the, the problem here was, you know, most likely things will work out in your, in your favor, right, happy, friendly, loving types, right, <laughs> because, you know, I ain't no need or reason for anybody to get um too bent out of control unless you know you're trying to um heal yourself from some sort of traumas that took place maybe you have a, a problem speaking about them to others but eventually when your healing comes along most likely you will be able to uh face these demons and uh you know heal yourself well no one is ever 100 percent healed from traumas We're always going to remember the traumas but at least somebody here will learn to control the sadness that comes along with it you know to try to find their own joy and happiness and just to leave the past behind you know it's hard to do that it's hard to do that but there's a possibility that you know you can pull yourself out of this whatever problems uh there might have been Right. But it looks like somebody here is going to refuse an offer anyways. Like somebody is over whatever happened of the past and they're just moving forward. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, if it resonated, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. You guys don't forget to keep a true love energy, uh, happy, friendly, loving types. Right. <laughs> we have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.